Okay, we have here to another integral from the UNSW integration B from 2023. This one's problem five. We have the integral of e to the arc sine of x dx. All right, not too many things to consider here. What I want to deal with, we just don't like having arc sine as the exponent there. So we'll try to handle that by just making a u substitution for that. So we'll say u equals arc sine of x. And so in this case, to make the derivative a little easier, let's just solve for x by rearranging this so we can have x equal to just sine of u. I'll take a derivative, so we have here dx is going to be just cosine of u du, and then we can just go ahead and substitute. So when I rewrite this, this thing here is just becoming u. So we have, this is just going to become eu, and dx is going to be just cosine u du. So now for this integral here, we have two parts. What I want to do for this is integration by parts. We'll do it over to the right using the di method, and I think what I'll do, let's integrate e to the u doesn't really matter which function we choose because they're both pretty easy and it's going to work about the same way so i'll differentiate cosine of u coming over here i'll differentiate this derivative of cosine u is going to be minus sine u then let's do one more row so when i take the derivative here this is going to be minus cosine u then integral of eu is going to be eu and then again integral of eu eu and now, of course, I could continue because this is going to go on forever, right? This never terminates. The reason I stop here is because we just notice that what we have there, eu cosine u, it repeats right there. We've got the exact same thing, and this row is going to be an integral. So we'll just use the fact that it repeats. But what we want to do here is we want to copy down part of our solution on the diagonal. So for this, what I'll do is I can factor out, an e we have eu in common, so we'll factor an eu out in front. Here we'll have cosine u. Minus times minus is plus, so I'm going to write this as plus sine u. And then now for this piece here, like I said, it's the same as this. So what I'm going to do is let's just label our integral here as i. So this here is actually going to be minus i. So we're equating to i, and then we'll have a minus i over here to represent this. And so what I want to do is solve for i, so we'll just add one copy of the integral on both sides. This will cancel here. And then this over here, we can rewrite this as just two copies or two i. But if our goal is just i, let's just divide on both sides by two, just in order to isolate this. This is going to cancel here. We've got our one copy. And then here we've got our solution, but it's in u. We just need to back substitute to finish this off. So for the back substitution, we're going to end up with e arc sine of x. Then this is going to become cosine arc sine of x. And then sine of arc sine of x, I'll just write as plus x, and we'll have this whole thing over 2. But one thing I can do before we finish up is I can actually write this in an alternate form, just rewriting this using the triangle. So let's just do that really quick, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, so I have my triangle over here to the right. And what I'm doing is I'm going to use this equation right here. And so we see the angle on sine is going to be u, what we have there. Now what I can do is I can write this as x over 1. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so I can write this as x over 1 like that. But then we just need our third side using the Pythagorean theorem. You'll find this is going to be 1 minus x squared. So coming back to our solution, we have arc sine of x. That's just u. So this thing here, we can, we can go back and have this. This is cosine of u. So coming to our triangle, if we want a value for cosine of u, that's just going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Or that's just going to be, we can just write that as 1 minus x squared. And so that's going to be my value for cosine of arc sine of x. So for my alternative form of this solution, I'll just write it as e arc sine of x, then we'll use this, square root of 1 minus x squared plus x, all over 2 plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there it is. Good one from UNSW 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.